Hello friends, welcome to my channel IT Career. I hope you guys are doing excellent. I am also doing fine. So today, today we are going to discuss highly availability and fault tolerance. These two concepts are very important. So these are the two features of cloud computing. For that, companies moving their workload to the cloud. This is, these are the main reasons for choosing cloud over on-premise. Every company needs their system to be highly available, right? The, the system downtime costs a lot of money to the business. So nobody wants the system to be down and which, which costs a lot of money, right? Who wants in the world? Nobody wants. And in, the, in today's world, many of the IT professionals nowadays does not know the right understanding of the high availability and fault tolerance even though they are in this field from long time. For the freshers also in the IT or the people who want to move to IT, it is very important to know about these concepts. These two concepts are unique and they are quite similar to each other. They are quite similar. And sometimes people use the features, terms interchangeably, like, like they call high availability as fault tolerance and fault tolerance they call high availability. But actually in, in the real world, theoretically are the same. Okay, we are going to find it out today in, in the in the discussion today. After after this lesson we'll, we'll we are coming we are coming to know whether, what is the difference between these two. Alright? So both the high availability and fault tolerance have the same objective. Ensuring that your application runs all the time without system downtime or system degradation, right? The, what, what is the main purpose? Your system to be up and running. However, these concepts have unique attributes that differentiate from each other. These two differ in cost, design, redundancy level, and behavior on the component fields, right? Faults and failures. So, let's take an example. So of high availability. So suppose you have a server, okay? You have a server and a, you have an application A running in the server. <clears throat> this is host one, okay? And your application is running. So you have only one host and only one application running. Your, and you, you, have, you have thousand users are connected. Thousand users are connected. Now, <clears throat> what happened? this server goes down some failure happens some component failed or maybe network failure okay so what will happen this application will also go down right so this what will happen to this a thousand users they will get disconnected so suppose they are paying your bills payment okay they're paying your bills their bills okay and so you're, you're not getting the money so it is a revenue revenue loss for the company all right so do you do you have a tendency or do you want this kind of application design that you are losing money where you already spent a lot of money here right mm -hmm. no you, you you don't want right so wh what you do as a system designer you build another uh, another server okay server host host to this is server and you build and this application A here, same application is running. Okay, now whenever any outage happens, suppose the the failure happens to this one. So what will happen? So they are talking to each other. Okay, remember they are talking to each other. Okay, these two. But at one time your application, uh, your users are connected to this this host and this application. And when the application goes down, this application goes down, all the thousands users will be connected to this one, this application, okay, in host two, okay. So, <clears throat> although, you know, this is moved to there, all the traffic moved to there, now, now what? This has a little downtime. So, that is 99.999% of all time. 
okay <coughs> all time so this is called five nines the sla sla is five nines for for highly availability all right <coughs> the highly availability applications aims your application to be up by 9.999 of all the time and it's designed to ensure that the entire system can quickly recover quickly recover of one of its component crash any component crash it will quickly recover it will it will ensure it has a ample amount of redundant resources to allow the failover okay it has that many resources to to it will allow the failover to another resource all right if the other one fails one fails then it has a resources to um, switch over to the other one this concept accept i mean this concept accept that the failure will occur but provide a way the system recover faster okay however you are paying the cost of this downtime all right and it, the redundancy we, i talked about redundancy right redundancy is what we'll come to know after after we'll discuss fault tolerance okay and we have a cost also we, we mentioned right cost redundancy and uptime all right now what is the what is the fault tolerance <clears throat> as i mentioned both both the concept has similar um, goal right to make your application up and running all the time so fault tolerant on the other hand as a goal you're keeping your application running with zero downtime okay it, 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 it what it, it does it, it has a zero downtime it has more complex design and higher redundancy to sustain any fault in one of its component okay <clears throat> now let us take an example here suppose you have application here okay and you have a application in 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 okay uh, let's take an example of um, this is host again host one and this is a host two okay and your thousand users connected so out of thousand users <coughs> 500 may connected here and 500 connected here <coughs> so in case of failure okay of one of the host all the 500 will go here okay this is one of the example i'm giving there could be multiple you know you you can run another host so if i talk about uh, the cloud computing so we, ha we we remember we talked about zone and region regions so suppose this is in one zone this is in another another zone so you have another host okay so in case of failure of one application all the load will go to the uh, the other application other host okay the application a application a everywhere application is running all right so the the design is little complex here and you know what the the transfer between the i mean the failure where from from host a, a one to host two is so quick it's very quick and it has a zero sla okay it has a zero <clears throat> downtime you will not feel any downtime okay the design is complex and higher redundancy is little higher okay think of uh it as an upgrade version of i mean this i mean you can say uh, this is an upgraded version of upgraded version of ha what is the i mean i mean say for uh, fault tolerance is the same concept but it is a higher version of a, uh, i mean ha one one level up than ha <clears throat> Because you know um, the fault tolerance, the, because the name implies that it can tolerate any component fault to avoid any performance impact or data loss or system crashes by having redundant resource beyond its typical needed. All right. So the name itself, it can. I mean, the fault tolerant. It, it can. It can tolerate. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, it can tolerate um, uh, component failure to avoid any performance impact. And data loss and system crashes. All right, so it has that much of resources and the uh, uh, complex design. Okay, so so what what is the redundancy now? Okay, 
let us talk about redundancy redundancy is high here okay all right and here it is weak okay and cost is minimal <clears throat> and cost is high and uptime is 100% uptime right all the time it will up it will not feel anything okay and here is 99.999 although for for many of them you know this is almost same as 100% but that small little um downtime cost uh, i mean cost a lot for few some some companies or some design like let's take an example of um maybe um robotic um surgery okay the, suppose so a robot is doing the surgery so in that case whether um if if there is a failure of the system whether the robot will wait when the server will come up and you know it will perform the surgery no it can't so in that in these cases i mean you need you need fault tolerant like system right <clears throat> so um that's all about um uh, i mean high availability and fault tolerance and last thing i would like to say i mean a system can be high availability high available okay but not fault tolerant okay but a fault tolerant system is always a will have high availability i hope you understand what i mean to say because of the thin line between these two it makes me or uh, make us uh, i mean this concept like a you know, high availability um, not necessarily it will be a fault tolerant but fault tolerant application i mean system can be a high availability all right with that said i think we are done uh, and um, if there are any anything anything i missed out um, this is outside my gcp lecture i thought okay maybe we'll uh, touch base on high availability and fault tolerant people always misunderstand these two concept and they think that these are the same but actually these are not same these are very uh, diff i mean not very different i mean small different um, although their purpose is same uh, however this architecture is very very i mean uh, complex and it needs lot of money okay you will not see typical i mean uh, business has fault tolerant system i mean uh, i mean normal uh, erp system or any normal they have high everyone you know goes with the high high availability except if it is a mission critical system like mission i mean to say every every company's business uh, system is a mission critical but as i mentioned about robotic surgery and all right maybe um um uh, another example i can give let me think um the rocket i mean the rocket launcher um rocket launcher uh, application maybe it will be fault tolerant um because every second counts in that one and you cannot um wait for the system to be available if something happened you cannot wait for system to be available for the next system to pick up your load it should be fault tolerant like if it goes down no matter we have like like you have a aeroplane right if have four engines so one engine fails the other engines are there to pick you pick you up so think about this is an aeroplane okay aeroplane's engine so you have four engines and they are all there to support each other right so that's about it it's a short video i thought it would be useful for everyone um please subscribe to the channel and like my videos and grow the channel thank you so much for watching my videos guys thank you